Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video we are going to be doing a quick simple beginners makeup application process. This is the makeup process that I go through every morning when I have to get ready for work. It's easy and quick. Everything that I do, I have in mind that I have to get ready quickly and go to work. So I'm applying foundation with my fingers. Same thing with the blush. All of this quick and easy. I'll probably do it up a little bit today, like throw on maybe a little bit of lash and put on a cute lip just because I'm doing a video, but normally going to work, I would not put in that much effort. You feel me? So let's get started. But before we do hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. So I have already moisturized my face with this Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. I love Fresh. It's a beautiful brand. It's a little bit pricey, but I do think with skincare, you get what you pay for. So I'm willing to spend the couple extra bucks on Fresh. Thank you Fresh for your wonderful products. And we will jump right in. So for primer, I am going to go in with the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I do enjoy this primer because it has a soft scent. Smells really good and it has vitamin C in it. And this is one of the primers that I have noticed I can stick it on my face, go into work, and not worry about my makeup, which I think is what we're all looking for. You don't want to be at work wondering if your foundation's separated, if you're looking. Bottom line, you don't want to be searching for a mirror every 15 minutes while you're at work to check your makeup. Primer is on, and for the next step, this is totally, you don't have to do this. I always do just because my under eyes and around my nostrils, they tend to get a little red and of course under eyes get purpley bluey and if I'm feeling really tired or I just think I look really exhausted then I go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Correcting Fluid. This is in the shade Peach. You can totally blend this out with your finger but I'm not going to work right now, I'm just making a video. So I am going to use what I normally would use if I'm not in a hurry, and this is my some sort of beauty sponge. I don't know what it's called, I got it for my birthday. All right, just like that, my skin is already looking so much better. It looks more awake, it covered up the red around my nostrils and my under eyes look so much brighter, happier, yay! And now we're going to move on to foundation. This is Paracomb MD. This is one of my top foundations. It is their No Makeup Makeup Serum. It is a little bit pricey, I am so sorry. This bad boy will run you $60. But it is so wonderful. Every time I wear this foundation, I get some kind of compliment on my skin. It comes with a little dropper that you use to apply it to your face. I'm going to zoom y'all in so y'all can really see what I'm working with. Just gonna give it a little shake. And with Paracomb MD's product, a little bit goes a long way, which kind of makes up for the price tag, so, I'm just going to take my finger. Like I said, this is a work routine. I'm just trying to get out the door. So clean fingers. Here we go. I always start with the center of my face and push it out. See how much that is? And y'all saw how much I put on. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not joking. Rub it on those ears, of course. Okay, quick and easy. Just like that, our foundation, our base is on for the most part. We are ready to move to the next step. I have another Paracomb MD product. This is their No Makeup Blush. And inside, it comes with a little doe foot applicator. And once again, we're just gonna use our fingers Just 
starting in the middle and working your way out. And now we have rosy cheeks. When you think about it, it's kind of silly to pay so much for no makeup makeup products. After purchasing these products, of course, and falling in love with them, I thought, why would you pay so much money to look like you don't have any makeup on? But here we are, putting on no makeup makeup products. I love these products. I'm going to keep buying and figuring out more no makeup makeup looks. I think they look wonderful because they do help you look refreshed, alive, awake, and that question of, does she have any makeup on? Is one of the best things somebody can ask about you. This next product is the Paracone MD No Makeup Eyeshadow. Also is applied with a doe foot applicator. And it is designed to cover discoloration on your eyelids as well as those pesky fangs. So you're just going to apply it and pat it out with your finger. There you go. We are looking alive and awake. I love it. Next thing we're going to do, it's also at your discretion. You totally don't have to do this, but I like to give my eyes a little dimension. So I take my Marc Jacobs tan Tantalize bronzer and I'm going to take a crease brush. This is the Urban Decay E201 and I'm just going to add some dimension to my eyes. I literally got this idea because I was using this mirror in the compact and I just looked down and I looked and saw that my eyes looked a little flat, I guess the word would be, and used bronzer as a quick eyeshadow and it helped, in my opinion, so much. This is all the shadow that I put on my eyelids when I'm getting ready for work, unless it's like a special occasion or for some odd reason I have a little more time, I kind of make it a little more of a fun look. But this is what we're working with and all we have left to do with the eyes is mascara. But I am going to throw on just a little bit of bronzer for the sake of the video. And because I have a new bronzer here, this is the Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Iconic. I have not opened this yet or used it, clearly. This is the bronzer. It's a beautiful color. It is a matte shade. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush from It Brushes. This is the 211. Okay, I barely went in. I barely went in and there is a lot of kickback. So just be careful of that if you are going to purchase one yourself. Okay guys, just like that, our base is complete. That was super quick, super easy. I'm going to finish off my eyes with a little bit of mascara. I have two here because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. But I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mascara. And then I also have, this is one of my favorites, it is the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. I think I'll go in with the Fenty Beauty one. All right, I am starting to look more and more like a regular human being. Yay! The last thing I would do if I was really getting ready for work, I would put on a little bit of brow, and I only use three brow products. One, this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade to fill in the innermost part of my brows. I also use the Precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. This guy has a little spoolie at the end. 
or at one end and then on this end it has a pencil tip i use the pencil tip to fill in the outer part of my brow and then of course this is benefits 3d brow tones and it's like a brow gel it is tinted you can get different shades of course I really like the spoolie on this. I like that it has that little extra end part right there to kind of poof up your eyebrows. So I'm going to jump off camera real quick, finish up my brows, probably add a little something something, probably some more lash to my eyes just for the video. I would not do this if I was going to work, but I can put on some falsies, right? I'll be right back. Okay guys, so brows are on and I did add just a few couple little fluttery lashes on the outer corners of my eyes. Those are by Ardell. They are the individual they are the individual lashes. I really do love those. It's a simple quick way to add a little bit of flair to your look. Last but not least, normally I wouldn't do this, but because we're doing a video, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of lip. I did get some new Morphe lip liners. This is one of them. It is in the shade Backseat Love. Kind of going for a nude look. I, of course, I'm not going to do a bold lip just because we're doing get ready for work. I think I wore a bold lip one time to work and that was on Valentine's Day. Me and my friends, we all were walking around with bright red lips. It was a fun day. And next, I am finally going to crack into this box. This is from the Holiday Collection from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just been chilling. The colors are beautiful. I don't know. I've got so much makeup, sometimes I, I just, it gets overlooked. These are the colors that it comes with. They are absolutely stunning. You've got three mattes right here and two shimmery shades. I think I want to go in with this guy right here. I'm just gonna put on a little bit because I do have a new lip topper that I have been wanting to try. It has been sitting here staring at me. So I'm really excited to try it today. And honestly, that's the main reason that I did wanna put on a lip with this look because any other day, if I'm going to work, I'm gonna put on like chapstick. Oh, it is like a peachy, cool, wow. I wonder why they debuted this during the holiday, because it's a great spring color. In case y'all haven't noticed, if you have been watching my videos, I do love a good old nude lip. And the name of it is, in fact, Peachy. I always do that. Okay, last last thing i'm added to the lip i promise i have been wanting to try this i saw it i had to have it i love natasha denona she is a boss babe this is her new lip euphoria what is it it is a gloss and balm i think it it runs for 26 dollars and it comes in three shades mine is in the shade nude our look today is is very basic but but pretty and, and sophisticated at the same time. I love it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek, very Natasha Denona-y. Yes, Denona-y. And oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> this is the applicator. Pretty standard for a lip gloss. And here we go. Ooh, it's minty. We're gonna add on a little bit more just because what do we think <sighs> does it look like I just got my lips done they look a little plump girl I didn't just get my lips done it's Natasha Denona and that last step before we head out the door of course is going to be some setting spray this is Tarte's stay spray that smells nice, actually. It's not too strong of a scent. I'm impressed. And it has a nice mister. Wow. I do get a couple questions on where I got this little guy. Uh, Amazon. I will link it down below. This is the close-up finished product. We are ready to go to work. And as I said before, I wouldn't normally take the time to put on a lip or take the time to put on lashes, 
I could care less about that when I'm going to work. But the shadow, which is really bronzer, the quick applying of the mascara, the Paracone MD, use your fingers, pat, 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 a little bit of bronzer. That's what I do every single morning when I have to go to work. It is quick. I never get told, you look tired. Are you all right? You look exhausted. No, I always look fresh and awake and happy and ready to go and ready to get the day over with. Let me know if you like the Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria. Let me know what you do in your work morning routine. I would love to hear from you guys. It's been super fun chatting with y'all and reading all your comments. And just so y'all can see for yourself that this makeup holds, I go into work and I don't think twice about it. I will do a check-in later on, probably at the end of the night before I go to bed. It is right now, it is 5.40 in the evening. So 12.30, I will go ahead and check back in with y'all. Do not forget to subscribe, ring the bell, hit the thumbs up, and I will see y'all later on. Bye. Hey guys, what is up? I am just doing my check-in like I told you I would. It is... 12:39 in the morning um makeup wise let's see as you can see I'm just a touch shiny in the t-zone area but other than that everything stayed put of course except for the lip gloss but i would have reapplied it if my day was still going but I'm about to go to bed, so there's no point. I did love the lip gloss, though. It's probably my favorite part of my makeup look. So I'm going to wash this off and catch some Z's. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.